What's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. Here's the review of the 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, case. I got a Best Buy from Tucano. It's anti-scratch proof. I got the see-through one. Didn't want to go with the other colors because you know I wanted to keep the aluminum look to it. So everything I own is all black anyway, so I might as well let the Mac stand out. You know, Xbox is black, PS4. Um, it was a hard decision actually. I kind of wanted the black, but you know, black a little bit of silver looks kind of goofy. Everyone knows that they only make them silver, so keep the look looking original and the uh, Apple light and all that crap. Um, the only thing I had an issue with the see-through one is that. If scratches were going to be an issue, but it says anti-scratch proof. And fingerprints. So they came with these little rubber balls there. You just put on the bottom. Oh, no, oh these are backup ones. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. These are backup balls. In case these ones come off. So that being said, let's get her on here and the overheating issue I really hope uh, this doesn't overheat this was 50 bucks at Best Buy and this one seemed to be sold the most so let's see if there's any squeaks doesn't look like it fits my computer but then again it's on backwards because I'm an idiot Let's put this on the front way, shall we? So it comes on fairly easy. Sorry if the video quality isn't good. Hopefully you can just take my word for it. Oh, snaps on at the back. Snaps on at the back. And now, before you put the top piece on, you kind of want this to look good. And by good, I mean good. <laughs> okay. Lid is on. Let's put this on. Let's put this on. And I think I have it on backwards again because I'm a dumbass. The three clips at the back, the two at the front because the center clip on your MacBook is what you use to open it. So, if my phone would just stop going off for two seconds so I can make a YouTube video for my YouTubers. Okay, so looking at the design here, there's heat vents here. I'm guessing this is for other generations or just in case it gets warm on your lap so the heat can escape, which is good. But there are your heat vents right there and it doesn't show any sign of uh, blockage or anything like that. Nice case. I'm not going to test the scratch-proofness of it, but re re what, what, what really pisses me off is when I use this voice and people are like, what the fuck, man? I got a freaking dot. And if you got OCD, well, let's take this off and just, well, there's the light. Looks pretty good. Now, if people know on the 12, the new one that came out, there is no Apple light, and a lot of people are like, what? But that is to reduce battery power consumption. So, if you like the look of the old MacBooks, and you like your computers quick, go with the 13. The 12 is just too new for everybody, and you want small and crappy, we'll go with a Mac Air. But there it is, folks. Still runs nice. Nothing feels too cheap, though it is plastic. So now my kid can drive his trucks on this and I won't cry as much. I can leave it in the car. It's a nice little design. Is it grippy? Pads aren't as grippy as the ones on the Mac. But hey, who am I to complain? We can all reach our ports nice and easily. Uh, obviously the speaker, you're not gonna hear any difference. I'm just worried about the ventilation. But it looks all right, and as time goes by, uh, shoot me a line, and I'll tell you if the fan comes on as much or if it's cracked. Sounds like crap. Doesn't sound terrible when you open it. Sounds good. 
Sounds good, sounds good. All right, YouTube. That was another random video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I post videos all the time. And when I do buy something, I love to give you guys a full review of it and uh, give you my utmost opinion. This is more than just a, a movie channel. This is random videos. I'm Matt, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Ciao.